All right, the clock is ticking for Republicans to confirm a new Supreme Court justice. The election now 41 days away. We bring in our NBC Bay Area's political analyst, Larry Gersten. This is a huge battle, extremely important for Democrats and Republicans when you consider Obamacare, uh, um, Roe versus Wade, and a host of other pivotal cases right now, Larry. Absolutely. You know, the court was fairly balanced. Uh, four liberals, uh, four conservatives, the chief justice leaning conservative, but sometimes voting liberal. And now, of course, with Ginsburg gone and the looming appointment uh, by President Trump, you're looking at five solid conservatives, three liberals, and the chief justice who could go conservative or not. What that means in practical terms, Jess, is much of what you said and more. Of course, we've got this whole question uh, of uh, what to do about the American uh, Health, the, the Obamacare, ACA. You've also got, as you said, a woman's right to choose, all of that coming up. ACA comes up November 10th. That's how quickly that's going to come up before the Supreme Court. But beyond that, environmental protection, the DACA, uh, gun control, all of these issues, not to mention 300 cases right now before various state and federal courts dealing with voting rights laws as they apply to this election. So the Supreme Court's going to be petitioned every day for immediate action on any and all of these issues. So in terms of strategy, the Republicans have 53 of the 100 U.S. Senate seats, plus Republican Vice President Pence that can break that 50-50 tie. So in terms of Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, he needs to get all those Republicans on board. There could only be, if he loses four, then all of a sudden the situation becomes precarious. You're correct. Uh, he's already lost two. We know this, at least, at least before November 3rd. Not maybe after, but we know he's lost Susan Collins of Maine. We've lost Lisa Murkowski of Alaska. Now, some people thought he might lose, for example, uh, Colorado's se senator, uh, uh, Corey. I uh, can't remember his last name, forgive me. Um, and, or perhaps Mitt Romney. He hasn't, he's, the Colorado senator is going to go and stick with McConnell. Chuck Grassley uh, from Iowa, formerly the chairman of the, of the uh, Judiciary Committee, is going to stick with with uh, McConnell. So he really hasn't lost more than two and nobody knows if he can lose three, much less four. So what cards do the Democrats have to play, if any, at this point? You know, they're putting up a big front right now. Uh, Nancy Pelosi said they've got arrows in their quiver. The biggest arrow they've got is public opinion. And you know what? Public opinion does not go very far when it comes to an issue like this, even though even though 62 percent believe the next president Ought to, ought to choose what's going on publicly wise. The fact of the matter is they have no quivers in their arrows to do any damage. They'll put up a big front, they'll argue, but at the end of the day, the Republicans control the show, the Republicans control the Senate, Republicans are gonna get their way regardless of the fanfare. But the only glitch that can come up, the only glitch is if uh, the Republican nominee, we have a pretty good idea who that's gonna be, Trump's nominee, has some sort of problem that explodes and denies the Republicans the ability to get her confirmed at that point. That's about the only problem. And the significance of this uh, appointment is huge because both of the people that uh, President Trump is looking at are relatively very young, and that means they would be lifelong appointments to the Supreme Court. And the ramifications yeah. are for the next 30, 40 years. Easily, easily, because because increasingly presidents are realizing the power of the court. You know, presidents come and go four or eight years. Members of Congress, the same thing, maybe the longer, but not as long as 30 or 40 years. And these people are coming in in their uh, mid 40s, early 50s. One of the finalists, one of the finalists is in her 30s. Mm -hmm. And as and as these people come in, they're staying 40, 50 years even. And yes, that's a long time for these people to be in power, making decisions that affect us all. And you know what? It really gets to this point that we, we can't hammer home enough. Elections have consequences. And when you vote for the president, nothing is more serious, more important, more fundamental to the nature of this country than his or her selections of judges and justices. All right. Thank you very much, Larry. We appreciate all of your insight. And we're going to continue coverage of the Supreme Court battle and Justice Ginsburg's legacy online. Learn more about her big cases on our website, NBCBayArea.com.